Grace and peace, everybody. Welcome to Sabbath School Study Group in the Great Outdoors. My name is Chris Bailey, and it's hot out here, but praise the Lord. I'm glad we have a chance to be together and a chance to talk about Jesus, and more importantly, for his spirit to talk to us. So I invite you to pray with me. that Father, in our time together, that you would speak to our hearts. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. This is part one of a new five part series, and we're going to be looking at Jesus and those in need. In other words, Jesus and how he relates to those who are in need. And this is good news because I'm in need. And whether you know it or not, you're in need. So in a real way, we're talking about how Jesus relates to us. So let's start by looking at Jesus's mission statement. We'll find that mission statement where he found it in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 61 is where the prophet Isaiah gives this prophetic message. He says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Now the me here is referring to Messiah or who was Jesus to come because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. That is a resume. That is how you change the world. And this is what Jesus did. And we know this is what he did and what his mission was because when he gets up to preach, there in the book of Luke chapter four, beginning in verse 20, he closes the book having read what we just read in Isaiah chapter 61. And look at what he says. He gave it again to the minister and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. In other words, it's gone from resume to reality. It's gone from recipe to reality. I have arrived. And th the thing I love about Jesus, that Jesus did a lot of things, but everything that he did, you've got to understand he did it for you. His mission is our mission. On the one hand, as believers to do what he did, but first, first to have what he did be done in us. That includes giving good tidings to the meek, binding up the brokenhearted, setting those at liberty who are bound and giving comfort to those who are hurt. These are the ministries of the church, but they can't be the ministries of the church or the ministries of the people of God until it is the experience. These are the gifts. These are the realities for the people of God. I'm so encouraged that when you read in Luke chapter seven, he says in Luke chapter seven, verse 20, when the men were come to him, they said, John the Baptist had sent us unto thee. Low background. John the Baptist, who was the forerunner of the Messiah, sent his disciples to go ask Jesus, are you the one? Are you really the one? Because even John, in all of his faith, he was a man. They're bound in prison and trying to see, it. is, is, is this really the one who, who I saw, who I baptized myself again? In that same hour, Jesus says he cured many of their infirmities and plagues of evil spirits. And unto many that were blind, he gave sight. He didn't say, but that's what he did. Now, Jesus answering says to him, go your way and tell John, tell my cousin to rest assured <laughs> that what things you've seen and heard and how the blind see the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised to the poor. The gospel is preached. It was not just to assure John, but it's to assure John Doe, us, Jane Doe, you and I to know that Jesus had a mission statement and his life. You know how we like to sing, Lord, it's all about you. And that's true as his creation. It's all about the creator. That's true as worshipers. It's all about him. But do you realize the song of God? Not in worshiping us, but in wondering after us, in loving us, in longing to be with us. He looks at us and says, everything I do, it's all about you. My mission is for you. And everything that Jesus has done and everything that Jesus is wanting to do, he wants to do it not just through you, but first for you. This is how Jesus ministered to those in need, because this is how Jesus ministers to me. And I pray that as we study and as you believe, you'll see it's exactly what he does for you too.